Hey everybody, welcome to Henry's Blues and Boogie Boogie Piano Tutorials. This here is um, one about a very important uh, thing, the right hand parts of Boogie Boogie Piano. Now I've done a few tutorials here about the left hand. Um, this here is about the right hand, which is very important. And a lot of people have asked me to do um, a right hand tutorial in the same way as I've done the left hand tutorial. So, um, this here is, is uh, in response to those requests and uh, there's only five different licks here because the right hand parts, they take a bit longer to explain than the left hand parts. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial and I hope you get something out of it. Let's move to the camera from above. We're going to start out with one note middle C. It's called middle C because it's in the middle of the keyboard. And we're going to play it in time with our left hand. We're going to use the easy left hand from the tutorial. This one. Just uh, to refresh ourselves, we have the little finger on the C. Thumb on the G, little finger on the C again, thumb on the A, and we just rock back and forward. So we're going to hit middle C, just one note in time with the left hand, and we're going to do it like this. keep doing the same thing but an octave higher like this we're going to make a chord. Chord is when you play more than one note together. So two or more notes played together. This here chord is a C major chord, it's called. And we go, our thumb goes on the C, this finger goes on the E, and this finger goes on the G. Right, so we're going to play this chord along with the left hand, like this. gonna just move one note here in the right hand this finger moves down to the black note next to it so it's called E flat and it goes like this now we go when we go back down to C this middle this uh, E flat here we don't play it anymore and we move our finger back up to the E like this Everything goes up to the G chord. Our thumb moves down here to the B. This finger moves down to the D. And this finger moves down to the B. And we make this chord, which is called a G7 chord. So that goes like this. And when we put it all together, here we go. number three which is called a lick this is what we call a lick this means like a little cool melodic idea that we play 
over the blues. And this one goes like this. So that is our thumb goes on the E flat and it slides up to the E. Then we hit the G, the A, and then we make a chord where we hit the E, the G, the A and the C together. Okay, and we can play it here, we can play it an octave higher. Up here, even all the way up here. So when we put it with the left hand, it goes like this. Now when we move up to F, we do the same thing over the chord of F. So thumb on the A flat to A, C, D, F. C, we do the same thing we did before, and up to G, it goes the thumb on the B flat, B, D, E, G. So when we put it all together, it goes like this. This here is the Jerry Lee Lewis theme. Um, we make a chord that we can play in the right hand that we don't change and it stays the same throughout the whole structure of the piece. And to do that, we put our thumb on the G and we put this finger here, the third finger on the C like that and we just repeat like this repeat that so when we put it with the left hand it goes like this Places on the keyboard, we can go all the way up here like this. So there's many places you can put that. And uh, okay, that's number four. Now number five here. Call this a trill. This is when we move the hand like this and we play two notes very fast one after the other like this so here we're playing the e and the c and we rock between the two and then when we put it with the left hand it goes like this to decorate it is to slide off the black key, slide off the E flat onto the E like this. If you want to get even more fancy, you can put an extra note in, you can put the D in and then slide off the E flat, but you need to change the fingering. So to do that, you'd hit the D with your thumb and then you would hit the E flat with this finger and then slide off. And when we 
when we go up to the F, it's the same thing on F. So we do this. A and F. Or A flat sliding onto the A and F. Or G, A flat and A sliding on like this. And then up to the G, it's B and G. Or B flat sliding down to the B and G. Or A to B flat and B. And when we put it all together, it goes like this. right hand essential licks for any boogie piano player i hope you've enjoyed the uh, the lesson and if you um if you like you can leave me a little tip or a donation via paypal or venmo uh, the link is down at the bottom of the video there in the description and um if you feel you've got something out of this video please feel free to leave a tip thank you all so much and stay safe out there goodbye